Besides the fact that we have been reading the older comics, we have also been reading the most recent ones and the latest saga they have published is The Darkest Hour. In the previous episode we could see that Rita and Dark Spectre managed to infect the Dino Charge Rangers because they have been able to travel through different dimensions through the Morphin Grid. At the end of this episode Billy was trying to power a Master Forge in order to enter the Morphin Grid, but after a terrible explosion he only managed to bring back the Phantom Ranger. The story we are going to read today belongs to the comic Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 114. In Safe Haven, Rita and Dark Spectre have turned the whole place into their command center and at the same time into a prison. In this prison we can see that they have trapped Rocky and Adam, the Red and Black Mighty Morphin Rangers. Both of them are looking for a way to relax and each one uses his own style to be able to do it. Despite all the effort, desperation is very hard, and they decide to check if there are other people locked in that prison as well. When they start shouting to find out if there are other people, they realize that there are other rangers from different teams locked up very close to them. The first one to answer them is Danny Delgado, the Black Ranger from Wild Force and when he found out that the ones screaming were Rocky and Adam, he told them that it is strange since the last time he heard from them, they were no longer teenagers. The Death Ranger traveled to the future in search of other rangers and used a device that the Time Force Rangers have used. After this conversation, many other rangers who were also locked in that place began to speak and all were from different teams which belonged to different times or dimensions at that moment a man named angel appears which peculiarly has a great physical resemblance to draken and he is going to introduce them to dark specter on earth we can see again the phantom ranger threatening billy since he does not know him and thinks that billy wants to rebuild the ark to help dark specter with the infection at that moment, Trini threatens the Phantom Ranger by putting her dagger to his neck, but Billy starts to explain that the person who rebuilt this arch just wanted to stop the infection and they were trying that too but failed. The Phantom Ranger realizes that they had used the power eggs to be able to activate the energy but tells them that those eggs contain a power that they have not yet been able to understand. He also tells them that they could have shattered the universe while trying to save it, but Billy replies that Rita has infected the network, Dark Spectre managed to cross into this universe and possibly this was the only option. The Phantom Ranger tells them that this may not be the only option to stop Dark Spectre and begins to tell them that he was at the far edge of space looking for the emissaries in hopes of finding them so they could stop all of this, but at that point the infection caught up with him until it took him to the Master Arch. Trini and Billy know nothing about the Emissaries, so the Phantom Ranger tells them that the Emissaries are like ancient children of the Morphin Masters who initially discovered the grid. In an effort to thwart Dark Spectre's plans, the Emissaries harnessed the power of the Morphin Grid and merged with that power, so they are always on the move. The Phantom Ranger wants to find the Emissaries as they have direct contact with the Morphin Masters and they can possibly stop the infection, but there is a possibility that they are also trapped. Billy gets a call from Bulk who tells him that the Hyperforce Rangers found the other members of the Mighty Morphin team, but he also has bad news that they are not alone. In Angel Grove, Different rangers including the Hyperforce and the Mighty Morphin, are fighting against Rita, Finster and Squat soldiers. They are obviously finishing off the soldiers even though more keep appearing and Finster decides to give them a bigger challenge. The machine Squat was using starts to transform into a monster and because it is quite large, the rangers are going to have to use the Zords to stop it. Kimberly says that the Mighty Morphin team can't call in the Megazord because not all the team members are there, so the Hyperforce call in their own Megazord. 
The Kronos Hyperforce Megazord is ready for battle and begins fighting Finster's new monster. Kimberly says that she can call her Zord to help in the air, but at that moment the Death Ranger appears behind her. The Death Ranger tells her that he needs more new Rangers, and she was calling him because her heart is broken. He then asks if she wants him to fix her heart, but Matt quickly knocks the Death Ranger down. The Megazord manages to destroy the monster and squat along with Finster teleport out of there. All the Rangers are ready to take on the Death Ranger, but he says that maybe they can fight another time and, in the meantime, he's going to send his regards to Tommy from Kimberly. At Safe Haven, Rita and Dark Spectre have Tommy as a prisoner and Dark Spectre wants to test if the White Ranger's power truly can't be broken since that power is designed to never be used for evil. Dark Spectre wants to test this theory, so he gives the Morpher to Tommy and when he tries to transform, Rita tries to infect him just as she did all the other Rangers to turn them into villains. In Promethea, the Rangers who were in the battle against Finster arrive and we can see that even though the Omega Rangers are happy to be together again, Kimberly and Matt are very sad. Matt feels that he was the one who should have been being tortured in Safe Haven and not Tommy, but Kimberly tells him that it's not his fault since Tommy is like that. Zordon and the Phantom Ranger are reunited after a long time, and both are trying to cheer each other up in this very difficult circumstance. They are trying to remember all the losses they have had, but the Phantom Ranger says that it will help them be stronger for what is to come. At that moment, Draken asks, what is to come? The Phantom Ranger says that he senses that Draken knows what is coming and also explains that the only hope to cleanse the Morphin grid of the infection are the Morphin Masters or Emissaries. Unfortunately, the Morphin Masters are not responding and the only way to find them is to enter the heart of the Morphin Grid, but that is only possible through a Master Arch. Trini the Omega Ranger says that unfortunately, the only Master Archway left is in Safe Haven, the place where Rita and Dark Spectre are, but Billy says that this is not completely true. In Safe Haven, Rita and Dark Spectre are still trying to experiment on Tommy to transform the White Power and turn him into a villain, but apparently this isn't working. Tommy attacks Dark Spectre and then tries to escape but is shot down by another ranger. Surprisingly, this ranger is Adam, who along with Rocky has been transformed into villains. Dark Spectre is angry because Rita had promised him a White Ranger, but the plan was not working. In the Bermuda Triangle, Billy is trying to think of a plan to be able to rebuild the arch that was there since he can use it to lure the Morphin Masters as happened with the Phantom Ranger, but the Phantom Ranger himself tells him that there is no time to rebuild all that since the infection spreads too fast. Draken tries to threaten Billy to hurry up thinking of more ideas, but Kimberly punches him in the stomach and says that, if they need a master bow, then everyone already knows where there is one. The only way left for them is to go to Safe Haven and risk it to use the master arch. <laughs>